has the vision, you know, decades ago, working with the community for Ferry Lane Park. Uh, we wanted to create a park that serves everybody, uh, passive places, active places, um, and thinking about different types of communities within Jersey City to enjoy this. and recognize that there was a gap within the skateboarding community and uh, there was an opportunity to do something really special. Uh, the places that the skateboarding community were throughout Jersey City were kind of makeshift skateboarding parks. But to create something like this with uh, in this community that is going to be permanent and uh, I think amongst the best in the state of New Jersey it really speaks to um, what we're trying to do here in Jersey City. So we're excited about this day. We want to thank all of our partners who partnered with us to make this come to pass. And I know the parents are happy because you got some place that your kids can go and be safe. So it's a good day in Jersey City. So what do you guys think of the new skate park? Um, I think it's really cool. It's a very good upgrade from the last skate park, which is by Roberto Clemente Field. This one's a lot better. It's obviously newer. I'm excited about dropping in on the new bowl. Uh, especially on the deep end, although it's a little scary, but you know, I'll get there eventually, so I'm excited for that. <laughs> so you built, you literally built the park. Or literally you designed the park. No, I literally built the park. Built the park. I was awarded the contract to build this, and then from the blueprints, I'm the one that actually made this park a reality. I'll, I'll show you guys like yeah. how involved I was in actually doing this. So that's actually shooting shotcrete on the bowl that we're standing in front of right now. If I think it's cool, I put a bit in, and then I go out there, and me and my crew, we just we just knock it out. And getting them during COVID was one of the most difficult things I could ever tell you, and uh, we did it, and we're here. And uh, although there was moments that I was hopeless, I never lost faith, and I knew that we'd pull through. And so now it's just really, it's like I'm standing here at the light at the end of the tunnel, and I'm just taking it all in, and I just can't tell you how happy I am. Ferry Lane Park was once a toxic area and it was a massive cleanup and uh, it cost the city $35 million and we did it through a lot of different pools of money to create a, uh, a world-class park that's the largest park in the city um, as far as city-owned properties go. And uh, what was important to us to create a facility that thought about you know, the traditional sports like baseball and football and soccer, but also think about sports that are you know, 21st century popular sports that people are, are active in for the future, and skateboarding is one of those. Yeah. And so we invested a lot of money into this, and uh, it looks like it's well received, which we're happy about. And uh, you know, we're gonna continue to look for more opportunities like this.